glory to Jesus glory to Jesus come on in everyone come on in my lovely family welcome back to my platform this is your woman of God Angela Hunt and I'm here to deliver on a topic today today I am here to teach on part one of a seven part series on spirit spouses Hallelujah, praise God. This several part teaching series will be comprising in-depth teachings on the topic, various strategies and warfare priors to destroy and overthrow spirit spouses. You see, I have been getting a lot of emails and messages from my viewers and subscribers. And in these emails and messages, they have been documenting what they are going through spiritually. And because of experience and because of my vast knowledge on this topic, majority of the root causes are pointing to evil spiritual marriages. God has now released me to come and teach on this topic and to come and help those who are victims how to get total deliverance how to be delivered and set free from these wicked stubborn diabolical spirits called spirit spouses my family go ahead like this video share with family and friends because this issue of spirit spouses is a very wide issue is an issue of great magnitude that is affecting millions across the globe i will be right back this topic of spiritual marriage spiritual husband and spiritual wife is a very deep spiritual issue that is unknown to millions across the globe even today spiritual marriages are affecting and destroying many believers lives in fact study shows that seven out of ten believers are plagued or are victims of these spiritual spouses yes they are believers Christians who are going to church tongue talking Holy Ghost filled water baptized Christians evil pastors and spiritual leaders who are encountering these diabolical spirit spouses who are limiting and blocking their lives but yet they are ignorant that these spiritual spouses these sex demons that they exist it is sad to say that many churches do not teach on this topic because it's a very sensitive topic. Many pastors are also ignorant about spirit spouses and they themselves are being tormented and oppressed by these sex demons. But solution is coming to you today. Solution is coming to you in the seven part teaching and deliverance series glory be to God I believe that I am very qualified to teach on this topic because I have gathered a wealth of knowledge on this topic over the years through deep extensive researches I also have a ton of experiences on this topic because the nasty foul spirits have dealt with me mercilessly over the years I have suffered greatly at the hands of these wicked possessive stubborn spirits called spirit spouses I was always tormented and oppressed by these spirits and every time I overcame and divorced one it seems they sent another one they were constantly sending spirit spouses to my life so I was always contending with them my God my God I was always searching for knowledge searching the world wide web up and down reading books trying to get intelligence on the topic because I was tired 
tired of contending with these spirit spouses. I was tired of the oppression, the defilement, my God, the molestation, glory be to God. So I was seeking knowledge because I know that one's deliverance comes only through knowledge. My God, my God, you're going to get knowledge in this seven part teaching series. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Many Christians are in the captivity of spiritual marriages for years, but because they lack knowledge, they don't know how to come out of it. Isaiah 5 verse 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Hosea 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they are rejected knowledge. So it is not that knowledge is not available, but we are rejecting the knowledge. Proverbs 11 verse 9 part B says but through knowledge shall the just be delivered come on somebody you need knowledge to receive deliverance you need knowledge to come out of what hell has placed you in you need to know the devices and strategies of the enemy so you too can strategize and come out of what hell has placed you in hallelujah praise god praise god hallelujah praise god so your woman of god is here today to impart knowledge to impart my experiences on this topic so that you can be delivered and set free get knowledge and be free in jesus name your deliverance is wrapped up in knowledge through these in-depth teaching on spiritual spouses your deliverance has already started because you are acquiring knowledge what are spiritual marriages spiritual marriages are evil marriages that takes place in the spirit between a human spirit and a demonic spirit a human being has a spirit spouse when an evil spirit marries them in the spirit and this is normally done through sexual intercourse in the dreams Many persons have reported that they have seen themselves getting married in the dream, but unknown to many dreamers, they have just entered into an evil covenant. They have just entered into an evil marriage contract through that evil dream wedding ceremony. An evil marriage covenant was established in the dream, and this covenant now gives the spirit spouse legal rights to your body, legal rights to every ear area of your life glory be to god this contract this marriage certificate this covenant glory be to god has given them legal rights over you their victim who they call their wife or their husband however i should also make it clear here that not all dreams of marriages are evil marriages we always have to remember with dreams we have to assess every component of the dream we have to look at the other factors and we also need the help of the holy spirit to help us to properly interpret what the dream is saying remember the devil the adversary he's an imitator and he will imitate what happens in our natural life so as to deceive us into entering into evil covenant and evil contracts my brothers and sisters in Christ our dreams are the number one ways in which unconscious evil covenants are forged with dark powers and with the dark kingdom according to Matthew 13 verse 25 but while men slept his enemies came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way this scripture is telling us clearly that while we are sleeping the dark kingdom is busy working while we are sleeping the dark kingdom is busy planting evil seeds forging evil covenants in our lives that eventually eat up our good seeds and bring forth evil fruits so it is most times through the dream realm that evil covenants are forged with demonic entities evil covenants are forged with the dark kingdom 
who or what is a spirit spouse. The group called spirit spouse can be further broken down into spirit wives and spirit husbands. The spirit wife is a sex demon called succubus and it marries to a man. While the spirit husband is a sex demon called incubus and it marries to a woman. Spirit spouses are very real, my brother, my sisters, and many persons are suffering greatly at their hands. Many persons are being tormented, oppressed, defiled, and violated by these nasty foul spirits. They are marine demons, meaning they are from the marine kingdom, and they are commissioned by the devil to molest, to torment, and oppress their victims. They are stubborn, wicked enemies sent to kill, steal, and destroy. They are the enemies of John 1010. Spirit spouses will defile, molest, and rape its victim over and over in the dream, and it does not need your permission. It does not need one's permission because it is legally married to you in the spirit. Therefore, it has legal rights over your body, and it has legal rights to affect various areas of your life. These tormenting spirits can create havoc and destruction in one's life. They are responsible for blocking earthly marriages. They are responsible for destroying marriages. They can cause stagnancy, hardship, difficulties and failure at the edge of breakthroughs. They are the ones behind many gynecological problems like cysts, fibroids, yeast infection, cancer, lumps, etc. They are the hidden enemies behind impotence, miscarriage, and barrenness. Spirit spouses are not human beings, but they can possess a human being, or they can manifest in the body of a human being, or the spirit of a living person. They are not visible to the ordinary eyes. Those persons whose eyes are not open in the spirit will not be able to see them easily. And you need the power of God to help you to overcome, defeat, and divorce these stubborn, possessive marines spirits hallelujah praise god so from my little teaching thus far there are some words that are common to spirit spouses there are some words that can describe them we use stubborn we use wicked we use diabolic we use possessive we use tormenting oppressive aggressive dangerous foul spirits from the marine kingdom Hallelujah. I am now going to highlight 14 important facts to know about spirit spouses. The first one on the list is that they are sex demons from the marine kingdom. They are marine spirits. Number two, there are different types and ranking of spirit spouses from the marine kingdom. Some are lower level demons, while some are high ranking principality powers, such as king of the sea, queen of the coast, leviathan, goddess of the sea, so forth and so on. This is why some of them are so difficult to get rid of because they are high ranking principality powers in the marine kingdom. Number three, a person can have multiple spirit spouses. Yes, you heard me. A person can have more than one spirit husband and they can have more than one spirit wife. Number four, they are shape shifters. They can shape shift and take on familiar faces in the dream. They can take on the face of your ex-lover, a friend, a pastor, a family member, your husband, your wife, your neighbor, or even a celebrity. They use shape shifting. They use familiar faces to get you to comply with them and accept them even more. They can also use the face of somebody who you are lusting after, somebody who you like. This is also a strategy to get ease of access for you to easily allow them to violate your body. Number five, they love to feed their victims in the dreams. They are one of the main spirits behind eating in the dreams. When they constantly feed their victims in the dreams, it lowers or weakens your ability to resist them. It strengthens and reinforces the covenant that they have with you. It is also another way for them to implant evil deposits 
into your body. They often use familiar faces in the dream to get you to eat these food. They will use the face of somebody who you trust, like your mother, your father, a friend, a family member, etc. Number six, they are one of the main spirits that erases or blocks one's dreams. This is why many persons do not know if they have a spirit spouse or not. These powers like to remain hidden, so they often erase these dreams after they have raped you and defiled you. If you cannot see what is happening in the spirit, if you cannot identify that they are there, then you will not be able to know how to pray or fight against them they will also block your other dreams too because remember their aim is to kill steal and destroy these diabolical spirit spouses fall in the category of spiritual robbers they don't want any good thing to come to you they want you to suffer in this life they want you to go through hardship in this life Number seven, through sexual intercourse with spirit spouses, one can have spiritual pregnancies and give birth to spiritual children. So many human beings, including Christians, they have spirit children that are living in the marine kingdom. Number eight, each time spirit spouse sleeps with you, they are taking something valuable away from you. They could be taking your anointing, your gifting, your prior life your health your money your job your blessings your opportunities and so on every time they sleep with you they are taking something valuable away from you they are spiritual robbers Number eight, each time they sleep with you, they are implanting evil deposits in your body, such as sicknesses, cysts, fibroids, cancer. They are leaving evil, polluted things in your system, which could affect your health in the long run, which could cause strange sicknesses. Number 10, the person you are having sex with in the dream is not a human but a demon. So you are having sex with demons and in most cases it is a serpentine spirit. Number 11, in some cases the spirit spouse could be a human spirit. In some cases you have satanic agents like occultists, wizards, sorcerers, witches who can astro project where their spirit leaves their body and they go to sleep with their victims so that's a human spirit sleeping with a human spirit number 12 spirit spouses love to brand label decorate and adorn their victims in the realm of the spirit they alter your appearance 13 they love to give their victims gifts in the dreams such as money clothes, jewelry, vehicles, etc. Number 14, they can attack you from inside where they possess you and they attack you from inside your body. But there are some who attack you from outside. My God, some persons will experience sleep paralysis where they are somewhat paralyzed and the spirit comes to violate them and rape them. But the spirit is operating from the outside. So those are 14 of the most important facts about spirit spouses. There are many more, but as this series continues, I will continue to expose them. People of God, this issue of spirit spouse is a very massive, extensive issue. I don't even know if I can exhaust it in this seven-part teaching series, but I will do my best to edify you, to bring knowledge to you, and help you to come into your day deliverance in Jesus name. Let us now look at 15 signs of spirit spouse in one's life. If you are experiencing one or more of these signs, then you have a spirit spouse to contend with and a spiritual marriage to terminate. Number one on the list is your dreams. If you see yourself having sex in the dreams, having sex with man, woman or beast, then you have a spirit spouse. Dream marriages, getting married in the dream, but it never manifests in the natural. 
seeing a man or woman sleeping by your side in the dream seeing yourself pregnant in the dream especially when you're a single person who is not committing sexual sins in real life having dreams of having a family you have a spouse and you have children in the dreams breastfeeding or backing a child this means you have a spirit spouse and you have already given birth to spiritual children shopping with a man or woman in the dream eating in the dreams and swimming or walking through the river in the dreams remember that spirit spouse is from the marine kingdom so if you see yourself often in water or around water or swimming in water they have already initiated you into the marine kingdom so dreams is the first category to know if you have a spirit spouse number two having disappointment at the edge of marriage whenever you are about to get married problems arise that will cause the planned wedding to be cancelled or postponed number three when men are only interested in sleeping with you and not interested in marrying you number four not having sexual feelings for your earthly husband or wife this is when all your sexual desires for your partner is completely gone hatred by your earthly spouse all of a sudden your earthly spouse hates you and wants nothing to do with you there is no more peace in the home there is no more peace in the marriage number six having lots of men chasing you if you notice that there are a lot of men chasing you in your waking life especially men of no substance married men lustful men promiscuous men then there's a spirit spouse hiding somewhere Number seven, having a challenge of a godly man saying, I love you or I want to marry you. Many Christian women can tell you that oftentimes when they get marriage proposal, it is from ungodly men. The real godly men will never propose. This is a tactic of spirit supposed to cage you in ungodly marriages that will eventually affect your Christian life and your walk with God. Number eight, when you're continuously being attracted to the wrong people, spirit spouse is sending you to the wrong people who can further help to destroy your life. Number nine, when you're experiencing losses, setbacks, and stagnancy in your life number 10 when you're watching pornography and masturbating they are the ones behind the addictions of masturbation and watching pornography number 11 when you're not involving yourself in a relationship or you hate marriages whenever you find a woman or man speaking about hating marriages or they no longer want to be in a relationship this is because they are already married in the spirit and spirit spouse has already taken away all their desire and urges for earthly marriages number 12 when you constantly wake up and you have wet dreams 13 when you're experiencing serious gynecological problems such as cysts and fibroids and severe yeast infection that medication can't even cause to go away when there's an evil smell attached to your attached to your private area when you're experiencing barrenness and miscarriages then there's a spirit spouse hiding somewhere number 14 if you have miscarriages after having sex in the dream and number 15 lateness in marriage are no marriage at all they are the powers behind marital delay they are the powers behind lateness in marriage or no marriage in the family or the bloodline so family if you have one or more of these signs operating in your life then there is a hidden spirit spouse somewhere and it is time for you to rise up and start contending with that spirit it is time for you to overcome the divorce and destroy the spirit spouse in jesus name 
my lovely family i hope you're being blessed so far i'm gonna wrap up part one of the video right here but i'm coming back with part two where i'm gonna take you deeper into some other areas concerning spirit spouses in part two of this series i'm gonna get into how spirit spouses affect your life i'm gonna show you the different ways in which the spirit spouse can come to your life i'm gonna show you how spirit spouse alter your appearance in the spirit i'm also gonna share some of my personal experiences and encounters with spirit spouses over the years and i'm also gonna provide some steps and ways for you to overcome and destroy spirit spouses so if you have been blessed by this video my family like 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 i want every person who is watching this video to like this video share it with your family and friends in the other five part of the spirit spouse series we'll be taking renunciation priors deliverance priors using the word of god to defeat the spirit and then some deadly acidic warfare priors to deal mercilessly with spirit spouses so there you have it my family i came with part one of teaching on the topic of spirit spouse i want you to go ahead and comment in the comment section if you realize any of these signs in your life and if you are being blessed by what i am delivering so far my family i love you with the love of god until next time see you in the next video be blessed